Happy New Year, everyone. Welcome back on January 2nd. Hopefully everyone is all excited. Good to see you all back. Good to see you. All right. Good, good. All right. Oh, my God. Look at that. We got to make a little quick little shout out from uh, uh, Bud Michael C. over there. Let's give him a big round of applause. He's only up 6,500 on the SES. <laughs> Way to go, my man. All right. Give him a round of applause. Uh, there we go. All right. Good, good, good. Uh, all right. So let's do a little, little shout out. Yep. There we go. You just bring it up. The SCS. There we go. Look at that. That thing was just. And by the way, if you guys look over here on the announcements in the morning, um, that was actually the biggest. That was the first stock that was on the watch list uh, that I put out there at 745. Okay, a little too cracky. Okay, hold on. If, if my yeah, my mic's a little high. Let me lower it. There you go. Just sound a little bit better right now. But yep, that was a nice little move right there. And listen, we started. What time we started? Right around here. Let me fix the time frame. Uh, yep, like right around here. I started. It's so when we came in around nine. So not not too bad. Nice little cheapy. Starting to back off a little bit. I would be very uh, a little careful about it right now. I you know what? There was a. Uh, there was a little bit of a really big iceberg order that was sitting there, and he's still actually out there at 1092. Guy was out there. She, he's been out there forever. A lot of big orders out there from 1092 to 11. Some big, big block orders. Um, see, a 40, almost 10,000 shares are going to be sold. Meanwhile, there's buyers and sellers in the hundreds. So, looks like a pretty good stock. Anyway, guys did pretty well on it. Nice little move, though. But before we do that, talk about all these stocks because. We got a nice little little rally going on in the market over about 157 points so far. But uh, but listen, New Year's Eve was a really really good day. What to get high, right? Pot stocks took off. Right? What happened? Let's talk a little bit about what happened on 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 Tuesday. Even though we were closed yesterday, but the T L R Y. Let's just bring up some of these stocks right here. Hold on. Fix my little time frame over here so you guys feel. See what we got going on. There we go. So nice little move. You could see TLROY, nice Fausto flags, everything. Thing just literally went from 1580 to 1760. We know this stock very, very well. TLROY. That was one of our big home runs of last year. That one did really well. And Crohn's, all of them going down the list. Look at this one. Uh, 650, all the way to almost um, eight. That one did well. CGC, another pot stock did pretty well. They're kind of holding kind of flat too, by the way. And uh, if you look at the trend, but CGC was also a really nice one. That one, you could see, that one's still looking pretty strong. I'm still throwing it back on the watch list. CGC, that one did pretty good in ACB for all the beginner traders that don't have a lot of money. And, you know, still a little deer in the headlights. AB, ACB was really up your alley. I mean, look at these stocks, $8 down to $1. Uh, not really a good looking chart right there. Yeah, we go. there we go. So everything was done pretty early. It was kind of flat. Still coming up a little bit too this morning, ACB. So I'm still a fan of all the pot stocks. And I'll put that in the uh, on our title of our YouTube channel, but it looks pretty good so far. All right. Anyway, listen, it's a new year. It's time to start all over again. Um, now, what, what you learned in class, remember, we do the monthly journals. And with the monthly journals, you got to remember um, – now you want to implement that over times 12 over the year if you guys have been with us over the year. And now you know if you're ready to have a new goal. So if your goal is that you made this, you know, you made the hundred thousand, let's just say, well, now your goal should be, you know, double that. You always want to double what you make. So now it's time to be that quarter million dollar trader. And remember, it's not that hard to do. It's only making a dollar a day on a thousand shares. Okay. So um that's you you gotta start getting to that next level. And um, listen, if you didn't succeed what you want, let's say you're the $50,000 trader, then that, that's time to go to 100. This is the whole idea. Always try to, you always want to uh, double what you made from the year before, all right? And, um, and it's going to be a little choppy in the beginning, get a little nervous, you got a couple of swings, but, you know, don't worry, you'll be patient, you'll get there. So, uh, so I'm really excited for this year. Um, we're going into an election year. So, you know, we I don't know if we're going to have that much, I would say that much of a rally in the market as much as we like, unless all these China deals and the uh, US uh, MCA is going to make a big factor. Usually they take it on the second year that you'll start seeing it when, when, when jobs and everything else. But um, I think we're probably, I mean, I, I think we're still going to go up. I mean, I, I think we're probably going to hit, I said this two years ago, I think we're going to hit probably 32,000 on the Dow. 
you know, probably finish out next year. It's not going to be as, I don't know. But let me tell you, I'll tell you what will make this market run. Remember I kept telling you how much haters are out there? Everyone is hoping the market crashes. And all I keep telling them is short it. Please short the market. Go out there and double, triple down, short it. Because you know what ends up happening? If the market goes up, guess what we have? A short squeeze. And we all know how those short squeeze work out with all those stocks that we traded. Yeah, they'll come down crashing down. But if we get a short squeeze on the Dow, could you see like 50,000 on the Dow? How crazy would that be? And you know what? That could happen. That could happen. You know, a lot of people want this market to go down. And if the market keeps going up, they got to cover. And it just literally just goes off. And like I said, people are like, oh, that, that can never happen. You know what? We know it could happen because we see it not once, but every single day in the, uh, in, in, in the cyber group room. Short squeezes are the best. So I just tell, I, I'm just telling them, please short it. Short your families, my short, short your corpus, short everything. Just short it. Please short, 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 short. Because I want to see a short squeeze. That would be so much fun. But as day traders, we don't care because we're, we're in cash at the end of the day. So whatever happens, we just buy it back tomorrow. All right, let's go. Um, let's talk about a couple of stocks that are moving this morning. Uh, first of all, the SC, um, SES. I want to throw that one on the watch list right here. And um, as the stock's going up, you can see it. The stock is moving pretty, pretty nicely. That basically was Michael's. Uh, Michael. Uh, Got it made 6,500 this morning on that stock, and you know, just looking at it, just I would just be a little cautious on it because there are, uh, where am I? There I am. Looking at the wrong stock. You got that big resistance levels right there, right around 11, 11 dollars a share. We need to see if that guy gets taken out. But a lot of you do remember the stock. This was one of those short squeezes. So here's a stock back in October. We traded it. You should know really well. Go back to your journals because if you, if you did what you did by learning how to take your notes, you'll know how to trade the stock. Stock went from $2 up to $26. Yes, that was one of our nice, you know, 2,000% winners. Can that happen again? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. So let's have a uh, looking fun to that one. Next one is Plum. P-U-L-M, another one that came up on my radar right here. A um, lot of orders out here. And you can see it just started making a big pop just now. And, you know, I'm looking at, uh, you know, I'm trying to look here in the watch list, and it's kind of it's kind of hard. There's a big seller at 128. There's a lot of big orders that are out here, but it just made a big pop right here. And you can see it. It's got a nice little move right there. Um, I think it's halted, actually. Is it halted? I'm not really seeing any orders coming in time in sales. Yeah, so let's keep a I think it is halted. We'll see how it, it looks like it didn't open up yet. But here's another stock, a nice little cheapy. We'll keep an eye on that one. That looks like a fun stock. Yep, R-C-O-N. Another nice little cheapy. This stock got a little beat up, but she came in a little nice little comeback. It is a... Uh, NASDAQ, not NASDAQ National, so be very careful with it. You can always tell by the pence of a penny right there. Not seeing any orders out there on level three. So remember, that kind of gets me nervous. We'll put that on the, you know, second protocol list, all right? Remember, we got two types of lists. We got the A list and the B list. And the B list is that second protocol. We always want to work on an A list, like this stock, SABA. Nice move, nice pre-market. Um, stock has been so much fun for us. We made so much money with this stock. Uh, in the last couple of days, dollar fifty stock went to seven dollars, took a little bit of a hit, came back down, but it's right back where it started from. So looks like it's right at the highs from um, from yesterday. So uh, I mean, not from yesterday, from Tuesday actually. Nice move, nice move, unbelievable volume. Look at nine million shares already traded. It's not even nine thirty nine nine fifteen yet. F cell, another one you guys have been trading. You love this stock. You guys did great with this one. This thing has been treating us so well the last couple of days. I mean, talking about a good move, 80 cents to about 260. Look where it is right now. It's at 290. Uh, level one stock, too. It's a little bit easier to trade, you know, so kind of makes things a little bit easier. Just remember, it is a looks like a small cap to me. PLX. Another one that's got some eh, good little move right here. Decent volume, over 300,000 shares traded, up about 27%. Spreads a little bit big right here, a little spotty. You know, which is kind of odd, you know, knowing that trading that much volume. But 
I want to keep an eye on that one. That stock did really well the, uh, from uh, on Tuesday. So we got that one on the watch list. What else we got? Oh, we can't forget our little famous Rite Aid, huh? So talk about Rite Aid taking a hit. Listen, that to me, when she sees stock go up that fast and come down that fast, that stock is short squeeze. But anyway, she's moving up pretty nicely right now. So Rite Aid is going to go back on the watch list. So we got a huge list to come back the day after uh, New Year's Day to get this much and this much volatility. I think, I think we're going to have a really exciting day so far. I didn't really see any good shorts out there, but it looks like everything looks more on the long side. Now, anything I'm missing, I did not uh, I did not call out everyone. Anything else I'm missing? All right, so listen, coming back from a day uh, a day after, you know, starting new year, just be very careful. Don't get too cocky. Don't get too greedy. If you did pretty well, Michael, if it was up to me, I would go out there and go buy yourself, you know, go uh, take the day off and, you know, whatever. Maybe go buy a new watch or go buy your spouse a new nice Chanel pocketbook or something like that. You know, you could probably get, well, you won't get a deal on Chanel. I know that because I've been trying. They don't do that. <laughs> you always think i like a trader. But I could, well, go buy something nice. All right. But in the meantime, uh, we got a good list here on pre-market. We know that sometimes we get a whole bunch of new stocks that will show up. And then we'll, um, if we see something, we'll say something. All right. Don't forget today also, we do have open house. Uh, we're really excited about it. So look forward to seeing everybody, you know, here and, you know, at, at 12 o'clock. We're going to try to recruit some new traders. Remember, we always tell everybody the only way you're going to know about the real truth about trading is you got to see what it's all about, be part of the room. And uh, you know what? It might not be for you. And I always tell everyone that's okay. All right. So, the only way to find out is you got to try it. All right, guys. Good luck today. Happy trading. We'll see you back uh, at 12 o'clock for the open house. And then we'll see you at 2 30 for the afternoon meeting and see if we can trade going to the close. All right. Good. Be safe, everyone.